Hello, welcome to Linux Studio. In this tutorial, we'll see how to use SF2 Player, and we'll have some fun with SF2 Player. Let's see. We'll first import the MIDI song. So here we go. Let's select Jambalaya. So as I mentioned in my previous tutorial, tutorial 1, this SF2 player cannot uh, detect the drum track. So there is a hint how we can uh, detect the drum track. It is probably located at the bottom. So most probably this will be the track, drum track. So we'll have to change this track, stereo grand piano into drums. So this is how we do it. Now let's check the song. Now we can also transpose the song. Let's do it. Let's go one semitone higher. So we one semitone. Now when we transpose the pitch to one semitone the drum track is affected so we'll have to transpose it here also so we'll have to do it manually so let's see how we can do that. Move the green square to your right so that will be like transposing one semitone. Let's Check the song. Now let's go one semitone still higher. So this is two. So here we will have to make another change. Now let's check the song. So here's how we can transpose the instrument track and simultaneously the drum track. Now in this uh, MIDI songs we can also change the sounds of the instruments. Let's change the banjo to Suppose jazz guitar. Let's see how it sounds. One thing about this uh, MIDI songs is that we can use this MIDI songs in SF2 player to learn the songs, how other players have created that song and how they have composed the drum beats. 
Now in my previous tutorial I told you that you can save the drum beats and use in your own project. So this is how we can have fun with the SF2 player. I hope you like this tutorial. Thank you.